Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, uh, dependent on where you are in the world uh, and what time you're listening or watching this video. Um, we've recently launched MUCO across all the mainstream social media platforms to coincide with the launch of our first product, which is MUCO Comps. And I really just wanted to give some background to MUCO and how we've actually come to the place we are today. I guess it's a classic example really of um, where you start off somewhere and you've got a, an idea and a goal, but you actually end up in a completely different place uh, to the one that you envisaged at the, the, the point you started your journey. So I got involved in and in developed an interest in property back in 2016, did the usual stuff, went online, read lots of books, learned about all the various strategies and decided that I wanted to become a property developer. Um, so I, I guess you could say I definitely jumped in at the deep end because I didn't go for a, just a standard flip like I should have done with hindsight. I actually uh, went out and bought a pub without planning permission. I took um, the, the, the pub through the planning process and successfully secured planning uh, for conversion into nine apartments. Um, but being a novice and being naive, um, really what I've learned from that is I structured the deal the wrong way. Um, I basically didn't appraise the actual costs of the build sufficiently, which is a classic mistake, which even experienced developers make. Um, and ultimately it got to a stage last March with the pandemic where we were a little bit nervy about the fact that our margins were being eroded. And now we had the uncertainty of the pandemic and what they might, that might bring. And we decided at that point that it was probably a good idea to actually break loose and, and get out of the project and sell it to somebody more experienced. We were very fortunate that we managed to get out with the shirts on our back. We didn't make, we didn't make any money. We didn't lose any money. Um, which you, you could say is, is quite fortunate. Um, but what we did do is we acquired a lot of knowledge along the way. Um, we were looking at various sites in addition to the pub we were looking to appraise them and over time we began to develop models which would allow us to actually um, make a, an accurate forecast of what the bill cost would be what the likely sale price would be what the cost of the finance would be and we began to realize that this 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 type of appraisal um, technology was not available on the wider market so we started to see that actually maybe rather than do development, we supply the picks and the shovels, so to speak. So for the last year, we've been uh, developing a suite of project uh, products, which we're going to um, release over the course of 2021. And the first one is uh, MUCO Comps, which is a really simple tool, which just basically allows you to put in a postcode, um, identify the address and with a defined radius, um, bring up all the comparables in that area that are relevant to your property. We do that through API integrations into the land registry, the um, valuation office, the post office, Google Maps. Um, and it's really been quite a journey. Uh, we're dealing with various people ar around the world and that brings challenges, but also opportunity as well. And our plan is, is to really tell that story and the challenges we face as we grow and evolve um and the type of scenarios and experiences that we come come across as we make our transition out of property development into prop tech um which we see as a as a growing market with a lot of demand um for for people who are involved in development and investment in property so my name's mike hill i'm um co-founder of muco i'm probably going to be doing most of the narration and pulling in uh, various partners and people who have supported us along the process to tell the story. Um, but I look forward to to uh, to giving you more information on where we're going and the type of things that we're launching very soon.